Hi, I'm David Banks. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week we're at the Concord Museum. Great new exhibit. Amy's going to tell you all about that. We've got a lot of other information. So grab that pen and paper so you can jot that contact info down. But if you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. Well, we are at the Concord Museum. Wonderful new exhibit on Barbara Scotia College, In the Beginning, Faith. It opens this week. The exhibit explores the history of Concord's celebrated African American College with photographs, rare books, memorabilia, yearbooks, and a photo exhibit called The Architecture of Barbara Scotia College. And that's by North Carolina photographer and visual journalist Alexandra Porter. Now, Barbara Scotia College actually was founded in 1867 as Scotia Seminary by the Reverend Luke Dorland, who was commissioned by the Presbyterian Church to establish an institution for training black women in the South. And looking through the exhibits and the photographs and some of the history of this exhibit, it's, it's really cool to see how these women in the early days of the school were trying to kind of pay it forward and wow. help educate and promote um, slaves that were recently freed. In 1916, it was renamed Scotia Women's College. And then in 1930, Barber Memorial College of Alabama merged with Scotia Women's College and the name was changed to Barber Scotia College in 1932. Then in 1954, the college charter was am amended to admit students without regard to race or sex, and shortly afterwards, the college was admitted to full membership in the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. Barbara Scotia College in the Beginning Faith Exhibit will run through December 22nd here at the Concord Museum. The museum is open Tuesdays through Saturdays from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. Admission is free. For more information about the Barbara Scotia College in the Beginning Faith Exhibit at the Concord Museum, that is located at 11 Union Street South Suite 104 in downtown Concord, you can call the museum at 704 782 3688 or visit historiccabarras.org. I love all the photographs. Mm. I mean, have some amazing photos. Now, the Harrisburg branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library is having a classic movie morning. That's going to be on Thursday, October the 13th. So just come on out there in the morning and you can join other movie fans for the morning classic films and movie trivia fun. Now, questions, can, you can pick them up at the library or, you know, they can be sent to you by email if you want that. Now, in the coming months, the library will be exploring all sorts of old movies and looking for the kind of ultimate classic movie mm. fan. Now, bring your own bottled, non-alcoholic drink in the morning. Okay, so <laughs> make sure you don't bring any alcohol, okay? And the library will pro provide the popcorn. You don't want to drink with popcorn anyway. Okay. For more information on the classic movie morning on Thursday, October 13th at 10 a.m. at the Harrisburg branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library, and that's 201 Sims Parkway, call 704-920-2080 or cabarruscounty.us slash library on the web, or you can just go to facebook.com Cabarrus County Library. I mean, you know, now we, we can't tell you what those classic movies are, but I know they'll be good. That's true. All right. Now, many of us like to visit the parks during the day, but you know there's some interesting things that occur in the parks during the night. Maybe you might want to explore what goes on at Franklin's Park for the free Creatures of the Night Ooh. journey through the trails at Franklin's Park. It's going to be on Saturday, October 15th. You'll get to see nighttime animals and learn about their role in nature. You can register for the Creatures of the Night Walk by Thursday, October 13th by logging on to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type the word creatures in the class search box. The event is open to ages five and older. For more information on Creatures of the Night on Saturday, October 15th from 7 until 8 p.m. at Franklin's Park, just call the park office at 704-920-2701 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks or on Facebook, facebook.com slash cabarruscountyparks. Did an early jump on Halloween. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Creatures of the night. Okay. Now, the Kannapolis Fire Department uh, is going to hold an open house for the public, and that's going to be on Saturday, October the 8th, at Fire Station Number 1 as part of National Fire Prevention Week. Now, activities include um, uh, a play area, which that sounds great, and Are You Smarter Than a Firefighter? <laughs> 
Games and adult fire extinguishing training. That'd be good. Yeah, They'd be out there spraying fun. each other. No, I don't know if they'll spray each other. But anyway, also on hand will be the Legends race car and the Sundrop Monster Truck. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Now you're talking my language. Now, as part of the year's storybook theme, your home is your castle. Protect your family from fire. Children are encouraged to kind of dress up like their favorite storybook characters mm -hmm. and uh, kind of bring those kind of, kind of used books, but not beat up you know, type, because we're going to do that is use those books for a community book drive. Gently loved books. Gently loved books. There you go. I'm glad you said that, not me. Okay. Cabarrus Safe Kids will be conducting Operation Medicine Drop, bring old and expired medications in their original bottles to turn in for disposal. And food and drinks will be available for purchase for, from the, the Kannapolis Firefighters Assistant Foundation. For more information about the Kannapolis Fire Department open house on Saturday, October 8th from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. on Fire Station Number 1. It's located at 300 Firehouse Drive. Call 704-920-4282 and bring those gently loved books. How about that? All right, so if you're one of those people who's been saying, all right, I really need to do something to get more exercise, right. and I really need to try my hand at running, but it's been a long time since I ran, or oh, I'm just not really sure I can do it. Great opportunity for you. There's a wonderful training class available this fall, which is the perfect time oh, to yeah, run. Oh, yeah, it's a great really. time oh, to run. Wonderful weather. Training class to get you off the couch and into your running shoes and to train for a 5K for the fall. The running course is going to begin on Saturday, October 8th, and it will help get you ready by steadily increasing your workout each time. The first training will be at Camp Spencer Park, followed by training at North Cabarrus Park on October 15th, and ending with training at Franklin's Park on October 22nd. So not only will you get tra training with the running, but also get to run on some of the beautiful trails at our parks. Right. There's a $25 training course fee, which will include your, reg your registration in the Jack Lennon Jaunt 5K. Now that's going to be held at Frank Lisk Park for, uh, it's, that's a fun race. The, yeah. the Jack Lennon Jaunt is going to be held on Saturday, October 29th, and it includes a 5K run, a two mile cross country run, and a mile fun run and walk. To register, for the Jack Lantern John 5K training by Thursday, October 6th, just log on to GabarrasCounty.us slash reserve partner. Type the word jaunt in the class search box. For more information on the Jack Lantern John training held on Saturday, October 8th from 8.30 a.m. until 10 a.m. at Camp Spencer Park, just call the park at 704-920-2701. For registration information on the race itself, if you don't want to take the training class and just want to register for the Jack Lantern Jump, you can do that online at cabarrascounty.us slash parks or call the park office at 704-920-2701. You know, since it's the Jack Lantern, I wonder if you could run in costume. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, check that out. <laughs> run as a giant, giant pumpkin or something. That'd be <laughs> kind of cool. Now, the families, uh, the friends of the Kannapolis Library are holding a used book sale on Friday, October the 14th and Saturday, October the 15th at the Old Cabarrus Bank Building that's in Cannon Village. Proceeds from the sale will help purchase materials for the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library and also many programs, you know, throughout the year. Mm -hmm. For more information on the used book sales on Friday, October 14th from noon till 6 p.m. and Saturday, October 15th from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m., at the old Cabarrus Bank Building, that's at 200 West Avenue, simply call 704-920-1180 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or on Facebook, facebook.com slash cabarruscountylibrary. Well, if you enjoy doing some vegetable gardening over the summer, why not continue that and grow a fall garden? You can cool. do that. Learn how to do that from Cabarrus County's Master Gardeners at a two-week fall gardening workshop that begins on Saturday, October 8th at Franklin's Park in Concord. You will learn how to keep your garden growing throughout the fall months and also prepare it for winter. And you might be surprised, there's a lot of things that you can uh, grow. There are. A lot of things you can grow during the colder months, including cabbage, carrots, onions, spinach, and peas, plus a lot more. It sounds like Thanksgiving in the work right there. <laughs> there you go. Register for the fall gardening course by Thursday, October 6th by going to cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner. Type the word gardening in the class search box. Cost is $5 and it's open to ages 5 and up. So hey, bring the whole family out, learn how yeah. to garden. For more information on fall gardening on Saturday, October 8th, from 2 until 3 p.m. at Franklin's Park. 
Just call the park at 704-920-2701 or visit cabarrascounty.us slash parks or facebook.com slash cabarrascountyparks. Yeah, the kids will be excited. Come out there and have a grow peas. That's right. <laughs> peas and carrots that yeah. you can eat. That'd be great. Now, the Concord branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library is going to hold a great books discussion, and that's on Monday, October the 10th at the library. The group will be discussing Aristotle's on happiness. Mm. That's pretty cool. Now, registration for the, uh, this event is free, but registration is requested. For more information on the Great Books Discussion Group on Monday, October 10th at 5.30 p.m., the Concord branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library, which is 27 Union Street North in Concord, just call 704-920-2054. Be sure to visit cabarruscounty.us slash library on the web and also facebook.com slash library. Well, for those of you who might be out there in the job search process, and there are lots of folks yeah, in, in that situation right now, wonderful program at the Cabarrus County Public Library to help you with your resume building. And of course, resume is yeah. one of the first things people see to determine whether or not they want to bring you in to learn right. more about your skills. So, wonderful new program using the Cypress Resume software that's available at our Cabarrus County Public Libraries. You can take this class that's going to be at the Concord branch at Cabarrus County Public Library on Tuesday, October the 11th. Now, the Cypress Resume is an online software program that allows you to compose a professional quality resume in three easy steps. During the class, you will build your own resume along with a cover letter and a reference sheet. Participants must have a library card and registration is required for the class. To register for the Cypress Resume Program on Tuesday, October 11th at 5 p.m. at the Concord Branch at Cabarrus County Public Library, just call the library at 704-920-2055 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash library. Uh, that's just another example of great programs mm -hmm. they have at the library. I mean, you know, it's kind of fun with the movies and stuff, but that's something mm -hmm. to help you get a job. Now, uh, fall is officially here, and you kind of look around, you might see a little subtle, you know, the leaves just starting mm. to turn. Well, have you ever wondered, you know, why they turn and how they turn? Well, the, the rangers at North Cabarrus Park are going to tell you all about that, and it's called Fall Fables. Why do leaves change their colors? And that's going to be on Saturday, October the 15th. Now, um, and they'll also kind of read the children's books, Why Do Leaves Change Their Colors? So that'd be kind of nice. And they play fall games, and all co they're going to get make the colorful leaves so they can kind of okay. make their own. Register for the fall fables, why do leaves change their color? By Thursday, October the 13th, cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type in the word fable in the class search box. The free event is open to all ages. For information about fall fables, why do leaves change their colors on Saturday, October 15th, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., North Cabarrus Park. Just call 704-795-4492 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks or facebook.com slash cabarruscountyparks. Well, calling all quilt lovers or those that just love artistic expression. Oh, there's fire. a lot of them out there. The Cabarrus Quilters Guild is hosting its Splash of Color Fiber Art and Quilt Show on Friday, October 7th and Saturday, October 8th at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. You can come out and see more than 200 quilts under one roof. Wow. Plus, there'll be more than 35 vendors, raffle and door prizes, a white elephant sale, demonstrations, and a silent auction. Admission is $5 for a one-day pass or $8 for a two-day pass, and parking is $5. For more information about the Splash of Color Fiber Art and Quilt Show, Friday, October 7th from 10 a.m. till 5.30 p.m., or Saturday, October 8th from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. at Cabarrus Arena and Event Center, just call 704-920-3976 or visit cabarrusarena.com. You know, and that's, I mean, quilts are great. My grandmother left me a couple, and I mean, that's, it's amazing. I mean, it is really an artwork. Now, the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame in Kannapolis is holding its 2011 introduction ceremony on Thursday, October the 13th at the David Murdoch Corps Library, I mean, Laboratory Building. The hall will induct eight new members this year. Now, the evening will include a reception, a dinner, and the induction ceremony 
with entertainment included. And there is a number, there's like eight different inductees that cover all sorts of different, I mean, there's some Grammy winners, all sorts of different genres. Mm -hmm. So you got to come out there and see this. This would be a great event. Now, tickets are $70 a person. To purchase tickets to the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame introduction ceremony on Thursday, October the 13th from 6 p.m. till 9.30 p.m. in Cannon Village, and that's at 150 North Research Campus Drive. Just call 704-934-2320 or visit North Carolina Music Hall of Fame. Dot org. Well, if you are a teen who likes to craft, great event for you. The Harrisburg Branch of Cabarrus County Public Library invites teens to an event on Tuesday, October 18th, where you can turn an old pair of jeans into a personalized neck pillow, perfect for lounging in bed while reading. <laughs> teens in grades 6 through 12 are invited to the event. Only one pair of jeans is needed to make two pillows. Registration is required to register for the teen craft event on Tuesday, October 18th at 6 p.m. at Harrisburg Branch of Cabarrus County Public Library. Just call the library at 704-920-2080 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. Well, now it's NASCAR time again, right? A big weekend at Charlotte Motor Speedway is coming up for the October Sprint Cup Series race, and that's at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And the drivers are going to compete in the Bank of America 500. Now, that's going to be on Saturday, October the 15th. Now, you know, fans are going to witness many of the greatest NASCAR drivers. Now, of course, the, you know, the cup is up now, and they're in the mm. heat of the championship. The race is going to play a real pivotal role mm. on who gets that this time. Now, poll night is Thursday, October the 13th at 7.10 p.m. On Friday, October the 14th at 7.30 p.m., NASCAR Nationwide Series drivers are going to battle for the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series the stars in the Dollar General 300 Miles of Courage. Mm. Now, the race will sport a pink theme to raise awareness of breast cancer and raise fun for the Susan G. Coleman for the Cure, the nation's leading breast cancer research organization. Now, the race will also honor 300 breast cancer survivors in the Ring of Survivors. Now, the big race, the Bank of America 500, begins on Saturday, October the 15th at 7 30 p.m. For more information on all the weekend races beginning Thursday, October 13th at the Charlotte Motor Speedway in Concord, just visit charlottemotorspeedway.com. Well, the leaves are starting to change and some are actually beginning to fall, which means loose leaf collection is beginning around the uh, county. Now, Kannapolis has announced their loose leaf collection is going to begin on October 17th. Loose leaves and backyard race collection will occur every other week through March the 2nd. The collection system breaks the city up into 10 pickup zones. So to, to determine zone and collection days, just visit cityofkannapolis.com and click on the loose leaf collection tab. Residents can also view a large zone map at the customer service center, which is located at 234 Dale Earnhardt Boulevard. Now also available is free mulch. That's gonna be available to the general public, whether you're a Kannapolis resident or not. You can come out to the water treatment plant that's at 1303 Pump Station Road, and you can get some free mulch for your fall gardening between October 15th and October 22nd. That's going to be from 7 a.m. until noon each day. So bring your own truck. It's, it's okay. do-it-yourself, but free mulch available there. For more information on the loose leaf collection or the free mulch, just call Kannapolis Public Works at 704-920-4200 or log on to cityofkannapolis.com. Now, many parents who've lost a child to miscarriage or stillbirth or kind of post-birth complications, um, you know, often grieve alone. And however, remembering and honoring a child's brief life, can, you know, that can help you through the continuing grieving process. To provide uh, validation to the parents who have lost a baby through miscarriage, stillbirth, or during that first year of life, Forever Parents is hosting a, a community balloon release ceremony, and that's on October the 15th at Village Park in Kannapolis. The uh, Cabarrus County Board of Commissioners, along with the Concord City Council and the Kannapolis City Council, have all signed proclamations in honor of this. And, um, and it's gonna continue, you know, it, it's, it's amazing. I, I didn't even realize this, that in North Carolina it continues to exceed the national average for infant mortality rate with nearly eight infant deaths per 1,000 births. I mean, it's amazing. Other community partners participating in this event include the Cabarrus Health Alliance, the Charlotte Mother Mothers of Multiple, and March of Dimes. Now, the community balloon release ceremony will take place at 10.30 a.m. on October 15th 
at Village Park in Kannapolis to, to commemorate the National Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day. Parents are asked to RSVP to have a balloon released in their child's memory at this community event. Now for more information and to um, RSVP, just call 704-491-6991 or visit foreverparents.org or facebook.com. We are Forever Parents. And we have had tons of information oh, on yes. today's show. Lots of different, various right. events. Just a ton of things to choose from in Cabarrus County this week. If you miss any details, you can always go to our website at cabarruscounty.us. Click on the search box at the top right there and type in your search term. You get all the information. Of course, one of the best ways to get all the information that we talk about on Cabarrus this week is to sign up for our email newsletter. You can also do that online, cabarruscounty.us. Click the newsletter sign up. That's at the top right of any page. Put in your email address. You'll be set to go. And please do that so you have all the information right there at your fingertips, your websites, emails, phone numbers, dates, times. You can just plan your week ahead. And don't have to write anything down, which is a good thing for me, okay? <laughs> now, if you have family and friends that don't have Time Warner Cable or you just want to watch our programs on demand, just go to cabarruscounty.us, scroll down, lower left, you'll see a little video screen. Right below it, it says more Channel 22 programs. Click on that. Up comes a page that has all the different thumbnails for all the different categories that we have and the kind of sorts of specials, mm -hmm. all that sort of thing that we've been doing, all our new programming. So, and you can watch it on demand. And I tell you, if you just need to come down to the Concord Museum, this is a great exhibit, great photographs, artifacts, all kinds of cool stuff down here. The, the Barbara Skisha exhibit is really neat. I, I love the photographs and just learning, really, I've learned so much about the history, not just of the school, but of our community as well right. through the exhibits. And there also is a, a corresponding exhibit about the history of our public schools in Cabarrus County that goes along with that. That also was really interesting. So, all education this month. It's some Absolutely. really cool exhibits at the Concord Museum. And until next week, have a great day.